wife and I... Wife? Johnny, you hurt? Of course, you pump your own water and plow and get blisters on your hands. I don't mind blisters. Jane, do you think... Of course. Sure. Very sure. If it's with you. And you can have a human name, not a name with a number. I'm Bob. Bob Thomas. All right, Bob. What do we do now? Well, I've got your escape from the city all planned. We go down... What's that? Who's there? The mine police. Electronic men. The robot mine police. Use the visual signal. Let me see you. All electronic disrupted here. Open for inspection. Better open up. All right. Remove device. Causing difficulty. Oh, that, that, that's just anonymous. Remove it. Sure, sure. Take it down, will you, Bob? How's that? Satisfactory. You, guards two and three, investigate other apartments. I will stay. This apartment under protection. Other apartments. We go Experiments for the master mechanical brain are succeeding. What? Experiments? For years, Morton's been working to produce electronic men that can make other electronic men. But why? Why? Because the master mechanical brain can control electronic men, absolutely. Humans rebel, like you two. If you had children, what little rebel Zed be? The master mechanical brain had denied marriage permits to everybody. Except readjusted humans. Yeah, who might just as well be machines. No marriages, no human children. Electronic men that can reproduce their kind. And bingo. A complete machine civilization with a master as ruler. And once the experiments are a definite success, the master will liquidate the human. Oh, no. Oh, oh I'm just... Oh, I've read of such things, but, but, but centuries ago. Bob, let's get them out of here. Yeah, all right, let's... Look. Open mind, Corey. The electronic men are back. Take us now, they'll readjust us forcibly. Oh, well, what do we do? Help me get the metal head mask on. And the voice box, too. There. There, it's on. If they find out I'm human, oh. Open door. Electronic man in there. Why did they come back? Oh, Johnny, I'm frightened. Bob, Bob, you said you had an escape. I have. But first, Ralph, this is for you. Oh. Bob, Bob, you stuck your friend. It was a trick. We're betrayed. Open. Open. Open the door, Johnny, and rush the electronic man. They won't be expecting fire. All right. Ah, I you two ah. ah. All right, let up, Johnny, let up. They're both out of commission. Jane. Here. Are you all right? Come on. Head for the emergency chute. Why didn't Ralph just come with us? He's needed in the next city. 
Without Ralph, we'd have never known about Morton's experiments for the master mechanical brain. And you really think if Morton gets electronic men that can produce others, he'll, he'll kill off all the humans? All but the few that Morton will spare for his own aids and desires. It's a logical thing. The master mechanical brain is supremely logical. It will have subjects at its absolute command. Careful, Mrs. Oh, yeah. The electronic men act only on impulses the master sends out. They'll act with machine-like logic. They won't fall in love. I got it. Disrupt any of Morton's plans for a perfect machine state. Doesn't this, this tunnel ever end? Soon. Duck. Yeah. Oh, ouch! You didn't duck in time. Duck, all right. I just unduck too quick. Bob, there's the light ahead. The end of the tunnel. Hurry. Yeah. Beautiful in the picture. You don't see them under McFitty's dome. What's that funny smell? <laughs> to quote an ancient joke, Johnny, that's fresh air. <laughs> hey, I like it. How do you make it? Johnny, this is real air, fresh air, as nature made it. Huh? And, and, and this is real grass, not synthetic? And those noises, it's like a chorus. Cricket? Frog, nightbird. It's a whole new world. As a matter of fact, it's a very old one. Here, slip into these capes. Uh, oh, they're, they're cold. Yeah, they're lead mesh. Master scanners can't pick them up and trace us and have a blast ray cut us down. Oh, Johnny, I'm scared. You can still turn back. You can say I kidnapped you. Go back to Mexico? city? No. Where Johnny goes, I go. You sure? Very sure. Then follow me. We're only about ten minutes' walk to the caves where I have a jet car we'll take to my farm. Okay. I'm so tired. Well, in an hour, you'll be asleep in a feather bed. A real feather bed. served me some milk. Real milk this morning. She's a remarkable woman, Bob. So she tells me. Taking it <laughs> to strangers. Making it at home. Well, she's a pioneer woman. New century style. Is Jane up yet? Of course I'm up. I've been helping Martha cook. Just imagine, Johnny, she actually cooks biscuits and... And, and, and just those men want to eat what I cook, tell them, come and get us. And tell that young man of yours to bring that water in if he's going to wash up for breakfast. <laughs> How do you like that? I get my hands dirty pumping water just so I can wash in the water I pump. <laughs> We're coming, Martha. Martha, you're a wonder. We raise all our own food. Real food, Johnny, not synthetic. I raised that bacon from his shoat. The old sow, too. Bob's a great hand with the animals. He'd better be, with six mouths to feed. What? Six? Less than four kids. Three boys and a girl. Believe me, four growing kids can eat. Well, where are they? Away. Martha always sends them away when I go to Mech City. She's got a notion those trips are dangerous. They are. The master mechanical brain and Morton don't like you snatching their humans. Someday... Oh, nonsense. Wait a minute. It isn't nonsense, Bob. You took a big chance for us. Yes, but why? Why risk all this happiness just for people like us? People you don't even know. Because he feels you're worth it. I think you are, too. And I'm for Bob and all the people he can help. But I'm still afraid. 
So you send the kid to safety and let him go and... And wait for him to come back. Even though I'm glad you got us out, Bob, you... You haven't the right to take those chances. Once the master mechanical brain has absolute control, you don't think we'll be safe, do you? As one great American said centuries ago, this union cannot long endure half slave and half free. And that's still true, even if that slavery is benevolent. Yes. The master is generous. It gave us everything. Except happiness. Uh, you really think it will come after you? As soon as that slimy excuse for a human being, Morton, perfects the electronic men who can produce other men, the master robots will be after us like a shot. Well, that reminds me, it's about time for Morton's morning televox. We don't get the uh, visual part out here, but we can hear Morton. We'll see if there's any mention of your uh, exodus. And in this brutal fight, a band of renegades snatched two humans. Hey, However, the master mechanical brain offers all renegades the opportunity to enjoy the peace and happiness of Mech City. Notice to all renegades, all crimes against Mech City will be forgiven if you surrender now for readjustment. Readjustment. If not, the master mechanical brain will be forced to make readjustment at a distance. Morton never dared to make a threat like that before. Shut it off. I can't stand that cold, inhuman voice. No, let's hear what he has to say. No. <sighs> can he do anything? Who knows what that man can plan with a master mechanical brain. He's got weapons, if that's what you mean. Bob, someone's coming. It's Ralph. Bob, Bob, get to the cave, quick. Why are you here? Had to get away. Morton suspects. Ordered tests. All electronic men. But that's not the worst, Bob. The master mechanical brain is turning destroyer waves on all the Rennie farms that you locate. So this is it. Quick, everybody to the bomb cave. Martha, you lead the way. I'll save what I can. Don't take a chance, Bob. We started with nothing and we can start again. But not without you. Well, can I? Martha's right. Get to the cave. No, no. Why? I think Morton's success with the electronic men is a cause, Bob. He's so sure I had help the humans in Mech City. Ralph, we gotta go there and warn them. Oh, no, Bob, please. Here, duck behind those bushes. There's a cave in back of them. In here? Yeah. The cave is lead lined. If you go back, Bob, I'm going with you. What's that? The destroyer way. <laughs> Mechanical devil. I'll take the master apart two by two, bolt by bolt. Martha, get on the cave signal system. Alert all the Rennie. Tell the kids I love them. We're going back. Ralph? Sure, I'm going. Johnny? You, you mean you're going to try to destroy the master mechanical brain? That's right. The time has come. We can't wait any longer. But, Bob, even if you succeed, even if you're not killed first, you'll paralyze Mech City. No food, no water, no air... How will they live? Unless we destroy the masters, they won't live at all. For the rest, men live once before without machines. They can do it again. Well, Johnny, 212. No number anymore. I'll come. I'm going too with no. Johnny. No, you stay with Martha. Martha has something to stay for, children. I've only got you, Johnny. No, no, Jane. You stay with... Take her with you, Johnny. I know what she needs. We've got to hurry. Bob, if you don't come back... I'll come back with a master mechanical brain in broken pieces. Oh, of course you will. I'll tell the others... Let's go. Bob. Martha. I'll be back. You must come back. You must. You must. Just a 
about. Yeah, here they are. Mech City is destroyed. But 
civilization is something more than machines and apparatus. That's something I learned when I joined the Rennies. The civilizations aren't built are, are built on dreams and made secure, not by efficiency, but by dedication. Johnny, Jane, you, and all the others who are alive today will soon learn that the pursuit of happiness, the desire to be with those you love, to think and act in freedom as men, that's the true meaning of civilization. That's what makes us human beings in the image of God. Another exciting drama on 2000 Plus, When the World Met. You've heard about the men from Mars. Ever wondered what they'll look like? Ever thought what would happen if the Martians came? Well, listen next week and you'll find out. 2000 Plus is produced by Sherman H. Dreyer and Robert Reynolds. In today's story, Ken Williams played Johnny, Charlotte Manson played Jane, Joseph Julian was Bob, Hester Sondergaard was Martha. Arnold Robertson was Morton, and Sanford Pickert was Ralph. The orchestra was conducted by Emerson Buckley, music composed by Elliot Jacoby. Script by Donald Stapleton, sound by Walt Schaefer and Al Lathan. Engineer, Bob Albright. This is Bob Emmerich speaking.